Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So in this video, it's gonna be a come work with me. I'm gonna be doing Uber Eats orders. And yeah, I need 163 more dollars to pay rent. Um, I do get a five day grace period for rent. So I'll just have to have the money by August the 5th. Today is August the 2nd. So I'll definitely have it paid for. Right now I am headed downtown or uptown because that's usually my starting point. Usually that's where the busiest place is. And, um, I forgot to go get gas. I always like to start my dashes with a full tank of gas, just in case. Just in case if I'm like in the middle of an order, you, you don't wanna like run out of gas or anything. So yeah, and I always been the type, I don't like to wait until the whole entire tank is on E. Like no, as soon as it hits that La those last two uh, lines, I like to go fill up. So that's why I'm headed now. Of course the gas station would be full. Excuse my dirty windshield. Look! I did not know that. Okay, so we finally made it to the gas station. Yes. I'll go ahead and take this one. He just left. I will struggle with this. Making sure I'm not, I'm like aligned with the pump. Okay, so I pressed go. Um, I don't know if I just want to sit here or and wait. I can, I guess. But I'm not really near anywhere. It says on the, the map I am. Oh, okay, so I got my first order of the day. It is $8 and something, some change. Um, at like the Midwood, something. For Midwood Smokehouse. Okay, so one thing I noticed is that um, if you like cherry pick the orders or something like that, unless it's like a ridiculous order, like they want you to drive like 10 miles or something, um, like really far for like $2 or something like that, then yeah, don't do that. But like if you continue to just cancel orders back to back because it's like not over a certain amount, amount then that actually hurts you more they help you if it's like low like around like four or five dollars but you're it's not really taking you outside of your zone I would do I do it I do it and especially if the house is not far I would still take it and then plus it's still gonna meet you to your goal so maybe a little slower but you know There it is. All right, so here is the Midwood Steakhouse. Yes. Hello. I'm doing well. How are you? Yes, for Remy B. Do you like for me? Yeah, sure. Thanks, you too, thank you. You too, thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we got our first order. Okay, so this person lives, Remy, they live 15 minutes away. Oh, is this a hotel? Yes, it's a hotel. I just accepted, um, 
an order from 7-Eleven. It was an additional two dollars. So I'm headed there now. Okay, so we just arrived here at the 7-Eleven. Oh, I just dropped my keys. Hello, um, I have an Uber Eats for Tiffany C. Thank you. You too, thanks. Okay, we headed to Tiffany's house or Tiffany's place. She must live up the street. Yeah, she does, like three minutes away. Does this look like it used to be a school and they turned it into a home? I don't know if y'all can see it in my background. But oh my gosh, look at these big old potholes, too. different angles and stuff when I'm filming. Okay, I think this is her place. Let me make sure it's the right number. No. It's that one. Another order it is for five dollars and seven cents to go to Bojangles. We made it to Bojangles. We're about to go in the lobby and pick up this order. Okay, so I got another one. Can you leave? What did she say? Hi, can you leave the order at the door? 
up another order for uh, $5.43 at 60 Vines, Charlotte. Yeah, 60 Vines, whatever that is. All right, so I am at Cassie's home. Okay. I'll be right back, y'all. Smells good. All right, dropped off Cassie's order, and now what we're we doing? On our on our way to get Ta Ta in some order order. Ready Okay, so I arrived at the uh, what you call it? 61s, I think. Yep, it's right there. The park right here with the emergency lights on because uh, there's nowhere to park. But Uber Eats for Ta in. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I thought I was record recording the whole entire time and I wasn't. But I wanted to tell y'all uh, that I got another order. It's this place called Mix and Grill or something like that. Yeah. And it's for $7.01. I was driving I got another order for seven dollars and one cent mixed grill mixed grill and wings so that's where we're headed now we're here at mix and grill mixed grill and wings I don't know why I keep on saying mix and grill yeah. um, I have a Uber oh, Eats for God. Laquita Eats the cheesecake looks so good okay I'm gonna have to try this restaurant because it looks good. So she ordered two things. So next we're going to Irie Nation restaurant. Okay. Oh, it's right there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Look. Oh, can I turn from over here? I'll have to turn around. To the restaurant. Hello. Hi, um, I have a Uber Eats for Laquita. Yeah, I probably can't show too much in there because they had copyrighted music playing. And we are headed to her home. Well, she lives in the apartment. Okay, perfect. And it's four minutes away. It's not too far. Goodness. I thought it was re I thought the um GPS was rerouting. Why does it keep doing that? It keeps like moving when I'm going the right direction. Let me get this to her and I will be right back. All right. 
She was actually standing there right there waiting on me. She was like, I was waiting on you at the door. <laughs> okay. So, what other order? I got another order while I was getting out. So, I got an order for $4.67. It is at Salada Salad and Kitchen. Salada Salad Kitchen. Yeah, Salada Salad Kitchen. Which I don't mind because I kind of want to get out of this area anyway. So, I don't mind that's like. Like, how many miles? It is 12.1 miles. Yeah, so that's the only reason why I'm taking this order. Just ahead, turn mile. All right, so here is the restaurant Salada Salad Kitchen. So we got this order right here. And we need to pick up two more um, at the Shake Shack. All right, so I'm going to pick up two orders from the same place. Um, I got one order for $8.76 and Another another one for eight dollars and eighty eight cents, and it's less than a mile away. Perfect. A Shake Shack Burger place. It was windy. So Noah got the chicken. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, good. Uh huh. You too. All right, you guys. We got Nobua and Joey's order, and we're gonna go ahead and drop them off. All right. So we are a minute away from whose house we're going to. We are on the way to Rachel House. Is that him? Hold on. Good, how are you? Yeah. Sorry about that. It took me over there. I don't know yeah, why. <laughs> I don't know why our, our address is supposed to be, but they told us, and if we try to type it in, it just goes straight to the Oh. So, Sorry okay. about that. Thank no, you're you. fine. All right, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad he, I'm glad he didn't get mad. Because <laughs> I've had um, customers like literally have a whole attitude with me because I was lost because the cheap GPS would like take me other places like literally I mean I understand you hungry but um like I didn't do that on purpose but also that's a con for doing this customs will literally have attitudes they're just rude sometimes so and sometimes they'll like have you waiting outside and for a long time, I'm like, if you're ordering food, I'm gonna need you to pay attention to when I'm coming. All right, I'm about to go into Popeyes over here. Oh, oh. So this is the front entrance. Entrance. Like, what? 
about to say, like, come on now. All right, so we got their order. I cannot pronounce this person's name. But, um, so we got the order. We got the Popeye's order. And, yeah, we're ready to drop it off. Where does this person live? They live eight minutes away. Not too bad. We are now at this person's house. Got Uber Eats. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. You too. Thanks. It's time to take a break. I'm hungry. And it's raining too. Yeah. So far, I made $53.77. So, yeah. I mean, I'm halfway there, almost halfway there. Yeah, kind of. So, I just need to make, what, $100 more? Or a hundred and, a little over a hundred dollars more. Hey everybody, welcome back to, well, this is the next day. Press go. One for six dollars and thirteen cents. For twelve miles. Do I want to accept that? No, not for twelve miles. Okay, so we got another one. Seven dollars and two cents. I'm not about to do that. Mm -mm. Okay, so we got one for $10 for 13.6 miles. Okay, that's fine. We have arrived to Viva Chicken. Yeah, um, Uber Eats for LaCura and Manny. I ended up getting one of the orders. This is LaCure's order. And I also had another one, but I canceled it because they were taking way too long. It's kind of like one minute away. No, she's 18 minutes away. So we are approaching to her home. Right, be right back. Oh. For like KFC, I got. Oh, hold up. But it was like four dollars and something cents. I forgot to screenshot it. It was it was like four dollars and some some change for like seventeen miles. I was like, uh, no, I'm not doing that. Burger King for one point one miles, and it's for seven dollars. Yeah, I don't mind doing that. Yeah. So. Over there, I can't park over there. Um, one dude has stopped, um, and he was like, uh, if you park there, they'll tow you. So, I don't want to get towed because I don't know how long it's going to take. So, I'm going to try parking up here and seeing if, well, I thought the camera turned off. Okay, I'm going to try parking up here. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. You ain't see that. What in the world? I just need to run in there really quick. That's it. Well, that's where a car is. Let me see if I can just like. I don't want to be in the way. I'm 
about to cancel this order. Hmm. Not no prep, we will pick up though. Gotta go. Okay. Three dollars in for three point five. Okay, I guess. Y'all yeah, gonna have to cancel that one because it's the same situation. Eleven dollars for thirteen. Okay. Will I have to pay for parking? We'll see. Take the parking ticket. Please take the parking ticket. Please enter following the guide. So come out of this parking garage. Uh, and then where am I supposed to go? So there it is. Exotica Indian Kitchen and Bar. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uber Eats for Dorothy Michelle. Thank you. I got my water. Whew, it is hot outside. So I got another order. It is for $5.62 for 29.4 miles. I know. Whatever. We made it, y'all. Thank you. She is literally 29 minutes away. She lives all the way in Kannapolis. What in the world? Oh, they got the nerve to have me go all the way to Kannapolis for $5. Okay, so I got another order while I was driving. It is at Wingstop. So that's where I am on my way to now. We made it to Wingstop. Approaching Jaleesa's house. Hey, thank you. Hi. Oh, you? sorry, sorry. <laughs> Are you, did you order Uber Eats? Yeah. Okay. Um, the juicy, the red crab, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, do you have a pin? Huh? Do you have your pin? Pin number? The number? Like the pin number? No, like on your phone. Like, um, do you have the pin number? 
I don't know, sir. Um, like, did you get like? This, this is the my white check. That one, you know, I don't. Know. Oh, oh. Um, could you ask her uh, for the pin number? Like, if she got a pin, because it's a number. Number she... for for the my white. Yeah. I, I showed the my white right now. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You enjoy. Alright, so I'm at the red light and I am across the street from Gerald's house. Because right now it's 10 08. And I need to have it to him by 10 12. Come on, light. I'll be right back. It is literally 3.07 in the morning. And I just finished doing all my orders. Some of them I forgot the screenshot. So I apologize for that. Um, so where did I left off? I think I left off with the, was it the wing stop? Yeah, I think it was the wing stop. Yeah, it was the wing stop. Um, yeah so after that i got an order for steak and shake and that was five dollars and six cents for 22.9 miles at that point um i felt like the orders weren't even going to get any better um then i had an ad an add-on delivery for four dollars and nine cents at burger king it had me going around rowing rowing in cabarrus county like all over the all over that area i did not want to be in that area because i just do not feel comfortable in like small towns at night because they don't have a lot of lighting and i don't know i just don't feel safe so it's just like everything is just like pitch dark i just rather just be here in charlotte like in the city because they have more street lights and everything um over there it's just like you could be in literally in an area and it's just pitch black um and not being able to see except maybe like the people's like porch lights or something like that i don't know i just didn't feel comfortable in that area at night um so i was trying to just get out as much as quickly as i can but i kept getting orders like like while i was on the highway i got this order for nine dollars and 42 cents at burger king um was it two orders i think it was one yeah so i got that order and then after that um i got actually a 20 dollar order i forgot to screenshot it but the place it was like wild burger or something like that like when i went to the wild burger the wild burger it would point me to the direction where the buffalo wild wings is which was an add-on um after i accepted that for eight dollars and 54 cents so i got the buffalo wild wings no issue buffalo wild wings was right there but when i tried to find the wild burger it was not there like there was no wild burger in that area i, I don't i was not understanding where is this wild burger so the person who ordered the food wanted to get smart with me and say oh wait a um what did she say she said wait a um way to be there travis um with an exclamation point i'm like who are you talking to so i canceled her order and you can starve or you can find someone else to deliver your food because you're not gonna i'm not gonna tolerate disrespect so I got one order for $4.07 at 7 Eleven for 9.8 miles. I was willing to take that mainly so it can get me out of the area that I didn't want to be in. I got an add-on for $6.05 at the same place. And then I got another add-on for $4.96. So that was good. Um, I was really happy about that. And then after that, then I got another order for $3.07 at McDonald's uh, for 3.1 miles. I've 
I was actually in the area, so I just didn't mind taking it, whatever. And then I got, after that, I got an order for a flat swing co for $17.08, but pulled up to the restaurant, it was literally someone's house. So I said, no, you know what, I, I'm going to cancel that. And then my last order, my delivery that I just did was for $6.64. And it was at a mansion. Like literally this person lives in a gated community here. Like when I pulled up to this spot, like I was like, oh my gosh, like that is it oh i didn't tell you the, to the total so i made a hundred and two dollars and five cents yep so i made my goal the goal was a hundred dollars so yes that's all i needed in order to make rent so i hope you all enjoyed this video please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.